You ain't leaving. <laughs> hey folks, Mike and McGee here. In today's video, we're gonna to try to answer a question that I'm sure everybody has had, especially me. Do wild pigs have a good copa steak in the muscle? One thing about it, wild hogs are not known for being fat, but as you see right here, this one was exceptional. So if there is a copa steak in a pig, this is the pig to try. If you watch my Mangalitsa Copa Steak videos, you know this is a shoulder. This is the entire shoulder. This is the center of the neck right here. So everything, the Copa Steak is right here. And it's basically between the shoulder blade and the spine. It is a humdinger of a steak. If you like steak with marbling, this is your steak. So we're gonna to try to do it with a wild hog and see how it goes. I'm just gonna to start to laying this bone off and getting down to this meat. You see that the rib, stick it in there and hug that bone with your saw, with your knife. I said saw. Hug them bones with your knife all the way up through there like that. And it'll just separate and come right apart. Once the bones are out, you've got clear access to this copa steak. I'm just gonna trim it a little bit. We're getting ready to make sausage meat here. Now that pulled, that just pulled out. I don't know exactly. That's basically the very front part of the tenderloin. I don't know if this is even gonna work to have a copa steak here. We're just gonna cut straight down to that shoulder blade and come straight on out. This is the shoulder blade right here. Just gonna try to come around the outside edge of it. And take it right on down. Now, that's supposed to be the copa muscle. It's pretty small. Let's slice into it and see if we have that marbling. Oh my goodness, look at that. We've got the marbling. That doesn't look that much different from a Mangalitsa, although I'm sure there's huge difference. So what I'm gonna do now, make some steaks and we're gonna fry them up, try them out and see how they taste. Dang. It looks good. It looks good, I'm telling you. I got a feeling it's not gonna be anything as good as a Mangalitsa copa steak, but we're gonna try it and see. <laughs> I'm, to be honest with you, a little bit surprised at that marbling. For a wild hog, that is uh, unbelievable. <laughs> steak out of the other shoulder because pigs have two shoulders that gives you double the amount of copa steaks so i'm excited about it i don't know if it's going to taste i know it's going to taste good but will it be tender i don't know we're going to try it out they look really good let's see how it goes all right it's time to throw these steaks these copa steaks on the grill so feels like i got a pretty good heat see the coloration on these steaks I put the salt on them already and I let that salt work back and forth in the meat. I have made videos about that, how to go about having your meat salted, especially steaks. You don't wanna salt them on here necessarily because it pull, pulls the moisture out and keeps it out. You do it like this and you salt it and put it in the refrigerator and let it set. Then you've got a situation where the moisture goes back into the meat. So the salt, it's already very salted. At this point, all we need is black pepper and a little garlic powder and we're good. This is not garlic powder. I believe this is 
a mixture of garlic powder and granulated garlic the way it looks. Sometimes stuff happens here that I don't know anything about, and that's fine. <laughs> Let's go ahead and throw the pepper on it. All right, let's let her do her work and we'll open that back up here in about five minutes. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. All right, I'm gonna get in here, flip these bad boys. They're really starting to come to. The trick with doing any kind of steak like this is to get it at that medium rare and stop cooking. I'm sorry you can't do that with a wild hog. You will get some kind of problem. That's just all there is to it. Black bear, wild hog, and maybe another thing or two, you got to cook very well done. So in order to keep it from being tough, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in this pan with a lid and we're gonna slide it in the oven after we get done grilling it so that it can come to that full temperature without getting tough. And that's gonna be the key to this cooking. All right, they've all been flipped, so I'm gonna hit them with a little more of that garlic, a little more of that black pepper. All right, I'm gonna pull them. I know they're still rare in the middle, but that's the whole point of this thing. We want to get them the rest of the way in the oven where they can do it slow. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I have to give credit where credit's due. The idea for this does not come from me. I had this hog hanging in my neighbor's cooler. My neighbor asked me if I knew if the wild hogs had a good cope of steak. So thank you, neighbor. You are the reason that we're having this meal. Fixing the rain. Good thing I'm getting out of here when I am. Here's how this lid works. Slide it right on like that. All right, we're out of here. That's got heat on it. Wind's getting up, David. Let these cook for I don't know 45 minutes to an hour on low heat. They should be tender. Let's hope they are. Is that cheese? Or what's that? What's this in the cottage cheese? Is this what we're cutting it with? I can go get some. Cottage cheese? 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 Copa steak right there, folks. Let's hope it's good. You want a cornbread? Can you get me some beans, please, sir? What kind of beans are these? Red? Yeah. They're small. Yeah, small red beans. Small red beans. Well, folks, if you ain't figured it out yet, living on the farm can be the high life. Mm -mm -mm. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Let's see what the, oh, that meat don't feel tough. My fork goes right in it. We're fixing to have a taste test on this meat, folks. Very unusual to have a wild hog with this much fat. So there's intermuscular fat all in there. So we're looking forward to this right away. Who's ready to try the meat? Me. All right, let's try it. Oh my. Fixing to get real quiet in here. That is tender. It's good. Tastes like a, uh, one of those ribs. Tastes like some ribs. Mm-hmm. Bacon. 
the reason it's salty like that is because I I soaked it in the refrigerator in. I salted it and put it in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. It's good. So the salt goes all the way through. I'm blown away. Yeah. <laughs> I am blown away. Let's try some of this cornbread. Mmm. 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 Bean. I'm gonna try this other one just to make sure it ain't a fluke. It's got more muscle mass and less fat, but still tender. Folks, that is wild pork copa steak video. Cannot believe how good it is. I wouldn't have even thought about trying it if my neighbors hadn't mentioned it. And so I'm pretty excited about it. I don't know if a wild hog that doesn't have this amount of fat is going to be good with it, but we'll try that out later when we get one. But right now, we're happy to have a fat hog to eat. So we're gonna get on out of here. If you can do this, do it. If you can't, don't. But if you can, definitely do. But we're gonna get on out of here for now. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.